Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're coming. I mean, All right, cool. English. On anglais. On anglais. Guess it doesn't count if you have, right? No. Why is it? Never mind. Why is what? Why is it asking this? I couldn't tell you. I never played the Ultra Deluxe Edition. Oh, okay. So maybe it's maybe it's totally different. Could be. It's pretty barely visible. Oh, I didn't even see it at all. Oh, well, my eyes are better than yours then. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the keyboard's visible. The computer's not. That's true. Yeah. To me, that's like that. I say that. I would say they're all barely visible, just like more <laughs> barely than others. In Panzer Dragoon Saga, you put in your name, and it's like, um, you know, like you do on any RPG, and then it's like, yeah. But is that your real name? And you're like, oh, <laughs> I guess I'll. Um... <laughs> this game's pretty what? much Panzer Dragoon Saga. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, it is nine twenty-three. No. Okay. Oh no. This game's hard, Justin. This game's too hard. Look, it's it's fine. It's fine. I believe in you. Okay. I do like that it's spelled okay, like okay. I prefer that. It's very proper. To just, you know, the two letters. Begin the game, right? Yeah, absolutely. If you're if you're prepared. Well, I'm gonna try to screw this. <laughs> Arm back on. Yeah. Could be useful. Probably not. Alright, the office the game. I really I really banana 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 banana. This is not the vibe of this game at all, is it? Mm. <laughs> The story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Oh this God! Is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year, and although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. It's hitting a little Stanley closer to home, honestly, than it did ten years ago. He but... relishes it, though. And then one day, something very peculiar happened, something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Is this me? Yep. Oh no! <laughs> you have to use both thumbsticks. Oh, it, it's the future call. I want legacy controls. <laughs> This is gonna be tough. I think you can do it. Okay, so A is activate. A, A, A is for activate, and uh, B is for Brian playing. Rocket right, League. Brian's on Rocket League. Uh, gonna do that. <laughs> oh please! Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all? that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. 
Oops. I turned it off. You turned off a computer. Can't turn it back on, I guess. Mm -hmm. Computer dead. Do you know if there's a way to set it <laughs> to legacy controls? Uh, you could pause and find out. Mm. I don't know. I'll just play it this way. I played keyboard and mouse like a true gamer. That seems much easier. Mm. Also, you are the true gamer of Game Up City. I take offense to that. Why? <laughs> are these just like fluorescent lights? Maybe windows, but... Eh. So I don't want to play the game wrong, but... I feel like in my natural state, I'm just going to try everything. Oh. Turned off another computer. I'll turn off every computer. Good. Stanley clicked on literally <laughs> Okay. I really appreciate <laughs> that. Well on cues from his I really appreciate that. Um... Hmm. That is not the current time. 11.20. Like how even if you're in the middle of nowhere... Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Still trying to open it. Alright, so there's no reason to try to open doors. Is that what I'm understanding? I mean, pattern recognition and all that. <laughs> Mine is a turtle that sings about shapes. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, me. Oh, me. <laughs> uh, Stanley clicked on the ficus. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> this is the kind of game this is. This is exactly the kind of game it is. I, so you have also, to, you I have don't to, know what you mean. You have to play this game a lot. You have to play this game. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Oh me. Well, if he loves following directions. Yeah, I mean, are you role playing as Stan? Yeah. Oh God. All right. Door, 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 door. Do any of the other buttons do anything? I just realized I haven't tried. Oh, we go in here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Thank God. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. <gasps> Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. He's already getting a tone. A little bit. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom now closet. Now I wish I had gone through the rice right door if I knew he was going to be a jerk about it. Give me that wrench. <laughs> That Stanley was still just sitting in the This guy's closet. so annoyed. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. We can't say that on game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said up to his Coming boss's room, right? Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Looks like the rock and roll hotel in here. <laughs> did you go to that place with us? I did not go to that place with you. It looks like this. Or at least it did. Let's turn off that computer real quick. Oh, sorry. Maybe Stanley off. works uh, at the rock and roll hotel. Uh. Ooh. 
soap, soap, soap. Oh, it doesn't work. I can't see you, me. Yeah, you were hoping for a Stanley picture. Yeah. Huh? Let's see if he has three eyes. I got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Soy, that's a baby purse. So, yeah, we'll go with that. I can't read it. <laughs> Why is it so big, Soy? <laughs> uh technical limitations josh all right maybe that's how stanley sees things who closed i'm locked in okay i think i think the bathroom door closed again stepping into his manager's office stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life shocked Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. <laughs> of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Oh, there's a little target. Oh, gosh. Yep, the legacy controls would have helped. <laughs> the boss is too stupid. Twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. into the newly opened passageway. You definitely have to play this game more than once, don't you? Okay. Pizza. Pizza or insulation? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? No I don't one, like no one can tell. I don't like the look of that. Upside at down all. duck. And the line's been just saying a, duck a lot recently. Just an upside down duck. Man. Everything is duck, duck. Not to be confused with upside down duck man, my favorite Jason Alexander role. No, it isn't. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's too dark. I should have set the computer to be lighter. I literally can't see. Oh no. Follow the vague red light. Oh, that looks menacing. I know, right? And that's the only thing I can see. Hey. That's game design, baby. <gasps> oh. Loading screen. If you think about it, elevators are life's loading screen. Descending deeper into the building, I think meetings are that. felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. But I already went. Oh my goodness! I already went where he told me to go. This activate button never does anything, does it? <gasps> Can't jump? Yeah, there's no jump. You tried it, but there's no jump. Uh -huh. And the activate button opened the broom closet. Oh, I can duck? Head through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Hmm. It must be French. So there's that scene in One Piece <laughs> where they're supposed go to go on. to the VIP lounge. <laughs> I really want to go uh, where it says pirates go this way. Yeah. 
I just have to pick. Yeah, it's, it's your choice. Oh, me. Well, I'm gonna go to the pirate's lounge. Because I'm a pirate. This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, but of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Said something nope. about still on board with death. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is just a choose your own adventure book, isn't it? A little bit. Oh. <laughs> but it's also a parable of our times. It was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk <laughs> forward and willingly confront his death. That doesn't sound like Stanley. It doesn't. But he said he just like had a realization or something. He did was his realization that he should walk towards death. Well, let's just see what's in there. Oh, it's just redness. Yeah. Looks slightly more menacing than an elevator button. It, yeah, it looks like a pit. Looks like a pit. Could be. In Sonic or Mario. I thought you were saying it looked like pit. No, it doesn't look much like pit. No. Dark pit. So you just do it and flip to page 88, and it's like, yeah, you died. Yeah, the, you got the Yeti. And is never the end. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. That was like for Bolton. It was like for Bolton. Spoilers for Bolton. <laughs> we'll edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit <laughs> all of this out. All right, I won. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Mm. I'm not going to lie, you kind of made a weird choice for your first run. Oh, sorry. No, nope, it's exactly what I expected from you. It's um... Every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Like, because of determinism? Sections have been added and altered throughout development, though the core layout remains identical. <laughs> Asterisk. Player may attempt to open 400 doors. Well, 
That's you. You figured it out as soon as you hit that room too. You were like, I understand what this game is going to do now. I like the when the mountains are blue. <laughs> <laughs> this painting is very cold. <laughs> Buttons. <laughs> Ooh. I think you have to look up. There you go. I like two and three. I kind of like one. I shouldn't. It was different. Oh my. <laughs> It was different, right? It was, it was different. That was the most real reaction. Did you ever see uh, Close Encounters? I, I, I was gonna sit there and try to do it, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. That's a shame. I like it though. Oh, they got uh, solitaire in here. Oops, I turned it off. Turn it back on. <laughs> Music. Yeah. This game is 10 years old. It is. Has an age today. Yes, it has. It's age ten years. Maintenance room. Mm. <coughs> I do wish I could jump. So. Yeah, it would be nice, or at least roll to go faster. Is it the same time yeah. as it was earlier? Eleven twenty-one. Yeah. That right? I already went in there. Track hmm. to where he was supposed to be in the story. Push the number eight. What? Let's see what the sign says. No. Now look closely, Stanley. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. When Stanley came to the lift, it's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fundamental understanding in good and bad game design. Of course, you being you, you'll probably spend the next hour trying to solve it. Let's see here. I'm just going to make this easy on Green Door. Stanley jumped in the river. Huh? Still nothing. Hmm. I don't know. Well, in that case, I'll tell you what. You win. Congratulations. <laughs> you did it. I know you put in a lot of. <laughs> I really appreciate that you just like walk away from the voice of God narration. I want to go outside. That's what I want to do. Oh. Oops. See a button, push a button. Well. 
So did I play this game wrong? No. Hey, I know this room. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't seem like much of an improvement, but you know. Have we talked about the uh, X Men game on Genesis? What about it? Like, how the only way you could beat that game? No. Was it to not play? <laughs> Look at these two, how they wish to destroy one another, how they wish to control one another, how they both wish to be free. You triggered that by starting to walk <laughs> down the other way. Hmm, we'll go back there in a moment. Sending. That just looks like portal. Hmm. trailers no that doesn't seem interesting um also i guess uh, well so the x-men genesis game yeah the premise of the game was there's a virus in the danger room yes i do remember that much and so you're f virus in the danger room. There's a virus in the danger room, and um, you have four X-Men and that you don't get life back between levels. You can switch between X-Men a random amount of times per level. The only way to know is by looking in the instruction manual. Um, okay. Like some levels you can switch four times, some levels you can only switch once, and then you're stuck as the X-Men you are. Switching matters because your other X-Men might have more life, and you don't get life back at all like between levels. So anyway, okay. uh, each level you go to, the danger room simulates a different you know, like now you're in the uh, Shi'ar Empire, and now you're like in the uh, you're on Savage Land. Or right. Yeah. So anyway, you get to this point where in the Mojo level, oh, and uh, okay. you finally, and it's very hard. It's a very hard game. Yeah. And so you beat that level, and you've never beat that level before, and then it like switches to a different screen, and Professor X is like, "There's, there's no way out of this." Uh, we're all gonna die in the danger room. Like the the only we're, we're just gonna have to reset the danger room. Reset the danger room. Reset the danger room. And you're like what? What what do you, what does this mean? And it's not like a gameplay screen. You know, he's just and there's a t t countdown timer going on, and you've just like beat this boss, and it's just counting down. And Professor X is screaming at you. Reset the danger room. And so then you just get game over. And after doing this, and you don't get that far very frequently, because because it's, it's hard. Yeah. So I, I've probably been that far maybe six times and you just get game over and Magneto comes up and he says, if they only knew. <laughs> um, so. so anyway, one time I was just like kind of at the end of my rope. I'm like, you know, it's like three, two, and I just hit reset on the console, the reset button on the Sega Genesis. And that. And then it, it's like... It's like, oh, the danger room is fixed now. Now you can go to Asteroid M and fight Magneto. After playing for like an hour and 20 minutes or whatever of this game, the only way to progress is to hit the hard reset button on the console. I, and you're supposed to know this from Professor X saying, hey man, reset the danger room. I can't believe that they could code something that would do that. 
So why am I talking about that? I don't really know where to go right now. And I don't really know how to progress right now. <laughs> uh, I I've think, been here. I think you've come across two ways to progress. Well, I saw the one that I got scared of and left. I guess that's... Ooh! Pretty good stuff. Than the first one. Couldn't tell you. Well. <laughs> mm. I genuinely don't know if that's real or not. I really enjoy it though. I would have loved it. <laughs> All right. I don't know where that one place I went earlier was. Do you know where it is? Yeah, I think keep going up. And up one more and behind you. Oh, the exit sign. Oh, you passed it. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, there is an exit sign. All right. All right. Just like a real building. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your Nintendo Switch. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. A real soothsayer, Josh. Choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Are you trying to open the door still? <laughs> Should have reset the danger room. Magneto just floats in. <laughs> Those TPS reports. Okay. His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, 
This keypad guarded the terrible secret. Did he talk this much the first half? Feet. <laughs> no, so it was different. Had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, Maybe to punish four, you for five. speeding. <laughs> Is that what's happening? Uh, that's very possible. Have known this. Oops. <laughs> I'm actually a little surprised they didn't have a voice line for getting it so close. Since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Steven's got a tip for you for the next time. <laughs> I will. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> Although this passage had a to escape <laughs> on it, the truth was that at the end of the course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes. Hmm. That's a camera. That's nothing. All right. Guess I'll hit the camera button. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature is <laughs> fire. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Apropos. The vis problem is choice. <laughs> Pieces of big. <laughs> yes. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? to believe it he couldn't accept it his own life in someone else's control never. he never it was seemed to care before was it? was it even possible had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world but here was the proof the heart of the operation Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Wasn't Stanley happy? He was. He was very happy. But I guess that's not the question. The question is, is Stanley happy? Hmm.
can't see anything. <laughs> Gotta make your computer brighter. I really should have made the, can you do it right now? You probably can. Let's do it again. No. Really? Subtle background opacity. That word is subtitle, friend. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. I was very... I want the opacity to be off. No, I don't. <laughs> what about the low dex mode? <laughs> yeah. Reduce the difficulty. Oh, well. Platforming? Precision platforming, Josh. Okay, okay. <laughs> so clearly there's more to occur. Down here is where you fight the Rinsler. This is scary. Or is that the Onesler? I don't know. It's a Tron thing. I was trying to go where to the Yes Power facility. I really wish I had made the computer brighter. Like, really. I really do. He found the source of the <laughs> Wait, I just <laughs> Anyway <laughs> That wasn't <coughs> I didn't mean to do that Blackness The rising chill of uncertainty Was it over? defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. <laughs> Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I don't like that he said it, though. <laughs> Will Stanley be happy? Mm. But can you be happy without knowing the truth? I don't know. felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path oh, before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Maybe Stanley's happy. Beat the game. Oh, beat the game. See? See, just like in Super Mario, long journey's end. That's exactly what it's Now like. I can stop playing. Yeah. See? What an easy game. <laughs> I'm super glad that you put on low dexterity mode. <laughs> Did I actually put... Wait, wait a minute. Why am I here again? Your guess is as good as mine. All right. Are there speed runs of this? Oh, God, yes. workers were gone. What One of the mean? achievements is a speedrun. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a Does memo. it involve like clipping through stuff and that type of thing, or just doing everything really quick? There's a little more to it than that, Stanley but yeah. He came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Look at me, I'm using two sticks to control. Yeah. You're not a low-dex fool. Here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping coming to a staircase. I kind of wish there were checkpoints, but I feel like that would defeat office. the purpose, perhaps. It, uh, yeah, you got it. All right, Stephen, here we go. <laughs> the moment he this one's for you. Office, this Stanley one's for you. Froze in his tracks, not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man. I don't think this was really the number. Any reason to keep going. Two, eight, four, five. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just the moment to Kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for yeah. a few moments. Oh, yeah. Kind of Here we music. go. We're getting into it now, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting into it. What would happen if I actually did just lie on the floor for an hour? I've got... Probably nothing. I was gonna say I've got things to do. <laughs> Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. That's why uh, I feel like I gotta ask. Uh, what's your game plan, Stan? Me? Here. I mean, or the character if you'd rather. I don't know. I already beat the game, right? Yeah. I guess to go the other way. <laughs> I well, the problem was I sonic through it last time and I didn't wait for him to tell me what to do. Yeah. Well, it's a thing that happens sometimes. It seemed like you should turn it off. You did turn it off. I know. Yeah. But he maybe was gonna tell me not to. Let's check it out. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? It's Stanley a circuit city. Did mm. he have the strength to find out? So... You, I mean, you could easily sink like your literal whole lifetime into this game. Now the monitors trying to see the different off, things they did, the different... Revealed. I can't imagine the lifetime. In the building, Stanley's co -workers. Like I said, I'm the I'm pretty sure with so some concerted effort, he's probably not going to have tonight. Screen, and I don't think you'd see them, every, every, everything. He's probably see most of it. Okay. Nothing. Well, so far, I'm interested enough to keep looking. That's all I was looking for. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in it's someone else's control. control? Never. No, you had it right. Sonic 3 is the best way. <laughs> Sonic 3 is always... Well, and, and Knuckles. Spent his sure. entire life Blind. Wait, which one had flying battery? Knuckles. Okay, Knuckles is better. Yeah. Well, and Knuckles. Not Knuckles. Mm. All right. That's, I'll, 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 I'll allow it. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of them <laughs> My favorite emotions. Walking, eating, and working. <laughs> Me too. As the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power. I am now curious if you do the same thing. What happens? Yeah. Controls sure. I mean, that's a that's a great. But question. I don't want to just do it again. And waste those six minutes. Or do you have to? Well. Hmm. You got options. So pick them rightly. Some choices to make. Some mad ruckus to bring. Is that Hamlet? Is a Street Fighter Third Strike. The control Same thing. Yeah. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you want? Control? 
understand the... I help Lord your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation... Nuclear? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where Oh, to you. <laughs> What's that? You'd like to know where your code Ever play a uh, X-Men 2 on Sega Genesis? It's this level where you uh, go through the Sentinel factory and destroy Master Mold and then uh, you have to get out of the level before it blows up on a two minute timer. Really in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there and like this forever, pushing oh, before. endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, I feel like I missed some buttons. Left. There are some I'm buttons. I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Thanks, man. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Where's button three? Oh, dear me. What's Get over the matter, here? Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Wait, screens? These colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Door. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beat? I already beat it, dude. One soul? It told me. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're <laughs> powerless. To see you made humble. But my death my didn't matter. I already so died. Stanley, you wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? <laughs> or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from uh, the moment we guess not. It. <laughs> until we <laughs> <worth shot>. <laughs> You know, they trained the AI for that narrator by making it watch a thousand episodes of Frasier. I'm glad. I did know that. Yeah. Because that's how all AI. <laughs> it's all chat GPT. Uh, you know, it's the thing. Can't bug the note. Hmm. Where to, Stanley? Yeah. All of his co-workers were gone. What now, the first time I went through the, to go to the, meeting the, the wrong door, right? No. 
I been, always only went through the right door. You've been through the left door every time. Uh -oh. well, let's go this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been huh? worth the detour after all, just to what? spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley is simply What's standing happening? here, drinking it all in. You're getting too close to the vending machine, and I think it's trying to like make you climb it. You're putting uh, like your foot in the drink return. Okay. <laughs> yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. This is the drafting Stanley room. Was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> oh, he closed me in. What's nice about this room is that it is big. It is. You feel a scale that you have not felt in this game before. Dollars. <laughs> Currency. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Really? Yeah, man. Pick a pipe. <laughs> when you get a Mario Maker level, that, you know, one of them kills you. That's fine. But I like blue better, and at this point, I feel like he's trying to, um, what's called reverse psychology me? Reverse psychiatry, remember? Yeah. This major. <laughs> but I just like blue better. Go. But I know. Follow your heart. But I know he's fragering me. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the... All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? <laughs> Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. It's the first person shooter. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Ah. <laughs> <sighs>
Your defiant proclivities are apparent. Hmm. This is this is difficult. Yeah, I get it. Cause this one looks cool. That one looks like the orange box. I like that. Yeah. Well, I liked approximately one fifth of that. Is that Team Fortress? No, I liked Portal. I don't know what the orange box was. I just remember that was like back when Valve made games. Right? Yeah, I think it was many Half Lives and then Portal and TF2. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> Dear, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. <laughs> he did it in, t is it two minutes or two seconds? Must be seconds. I think it's getting to you over there? I don't know. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this case, the goes left towards the danger. You click the button to move him back to the boat, and he reaches the fire and fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you oh, give it four well, hours of play mm. to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I feel like the baby should be... It, the baby looks too happy. The baby does look pretty happy. The baby should also, be. the baby is quite oblivious, and I think that's okay. It's pretty true to life. But also, this is a very true to life experience. Right, right. It's a low texture baby. Despite me, baby's still because moving. The latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. Yeah, what do we do Rocket League? <laughs> Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Ah, uh, Stephen thinks it's Stewie from Family Guy doing an accent. I thought it was the guy from, um, let's call it Kirk's Gassad or whatever, however you say that. I don't know what that is. It's the YouTube channel, The Educational. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of Wyoming. total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this I really this like game the standing. don't tread on me floor mat. More. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. 
This is 100% new to the Switch. Dishwasher? Oh, is this Ultra Deluxe right now? It must, yeah, must be. You played all of the game, you, you, oh. Well, look at you. I know. What do you want to do? I get to experience new things. Now we're actually both playing the game. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's about right. Oh, let's Six. go, let's go to the propane. Is this Hank of the Hill simulator? Mm hmm You tried. Yeah. <laughs> I really like um, these graphics. I like those mountains. I like that they're blue. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do like them, how they're like cell shaded ish. Yeah. Um, this is supposed to be Firewatch, which I think you would like. Yeah, I heard that's supposed to be good. La 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 la. Even an berries. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. <laughs> oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. Just slow down a lot. That, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, oh, oh. oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. I'm really excited to play like a 2D platform. It is. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run. <laughs> what? Any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. <laughs> okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. I'm so okay, Stanley, slow. You are extremely slow. And I can't even rock it. Oh, you're going faster. Uh oh. Can you ball? Oh, you balled. This game rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the uh, celebration. Yeah, which which goal explosion did they oh, pay for? Oh. <laughs> That's excellent. Oh no! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. <laughs> How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that, Stanley. Come back. You still have so much. No, this is from the old game, though. Mm, no, this is new. Huh. Oh. What should we do? Uh, find a way to turn that computer brighter. <laughs> 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 Travel back in time and, uh, fall. Dang. Good fall, bad fall. Don't know. This sounds windy. Ooh. Resident Evil. Hey, remember how I said that thing about no, no jump scares? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. We're in oh, uncharted no. territory now. I don't now, want so no I zombies. No zan. Oh. Hey. Well, you just uh, shout out if there's something you think you want to do or investigate. I like where you're going. I don't know what any of this is. Can you boot that computer button? Little green one? No. Nope. This? 
Oh, can't boop. I like that Rothko though. It's kind of interesting place for it. I guess maybe back through, follow the lights again. Oh. Did you fall Look again? What he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. <coughs> and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. <laughs> the end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Can you move? Oh. Yes, that counts as forfeiting, Steve. <laughs> I mean, you I, tra I tried. I should have got in goal line. I, that's what I should have done. I should have waited. Oh. oh, really? Hey, man. This feels so long ago. Oh. Can you? Can you answer your phone now? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's someone else's phone. Ah. Can you answer their phone? I think it's that one. Yeah, it's the who <laughs> um, It isn't. It isn't? That's the I think pencil it's sharp. the pencil sharp. <laughs> uh, we're getting warmer. Wait, I gotta turn this computer off first. There we go. There we go. Was it behind that computer? Oh. It was in here. In this. There it is. Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. I can't. That was too many things to remember. Can I replay it? Huh. Also, that's not my desk. No, it's not. Also, Maybe that was I, another Stanley. I don't even have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> the narrator's gone. Yeah, this is weird. What'd that narrator do, though? Input received. Just the one? <clears throat> well. Did you just close that door? Seems like it. Yeah, it did. It did. Oh, weird. Uh... When Stanley came to a set of two, <sighs> he entered the door on his left. Do you want me to start running down some, uh, some, like, choice points for you? Wait, do what? Like, I, d I don't know if you're trying to figure out what your, like, divergence points are, or if you're just sighing at the, my god, I have to pick again. <laughs> um, a little bit of both, because I feel like even doing the thing you did last time or doing the other thing you did last time may be different things anyway. 
I feel like there's not a way for me to know that. Correct. You've been at this point in this game before. Yeah. Okay, so we're back on the game. We seem to be back on the game, unless something weird. Well, happen. which way do you want to go? Um, I feel like I could just do the same thing over and over. I want to go right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. And because Stanley it's not the correct way to the well. meeting room. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I didn't do that last time. Should I go in here? You can go through here. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. So that actually puts you back on the track. Uh... I think I saw this, uh, this elevator in the credits room. Which was the first place I went. I know, right? <laughs> kind of a weird first place, right? <laughs> but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh da, 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 da. from here it's, um, left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Did you play Sonic Adventure 2? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh. I made the computer brighter. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Oh, Come, me. Stanley, let's find the story. I only want to go in this one. <laughs> Got boxes that way. said this is the worst adventure I've ever been on I can promise you there definitely was a story here before do we just do we need to restart the game again well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again but it's got to be better than this okay let's give it a shot why not
Seems like they should just tell me which button to hit. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed this a game. This game is missing a tutorial. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I'm not even this room. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back to the other direction and see if we missed anything? <laughs> something the story here it comes <laughs> no wait never mind not the story okay let's head back the other way and retrace our steps This, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you mm. remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work. It really paid off so good job. Oh no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. I already won, baby. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. All right, oh, I've cool. got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Why am I so just willing to just follow line? this line? How simple is that? Good question. Oh, it goes somewhere new, that's why. <laughs> no, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Okay. There you go. I have no choice, eh? <sighs> the line is good. The line is great. <laughs> we surrender Wait, ourselves I turn off this day of its fate. <laughs> You can't. It turn won't off let me turn off free cell. What does it mean? What does it mean? How to get burned. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Nope. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? 
okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Oh, they spelled whoa sure weird. Where I was going How'd they spell it? W-O-A-H. What we need right now is a bit of music to How are you W-H-O-A? See if the minute hand moves. Yeah, guess not, eh? It's too much, too much power for the Nintendo Switch to handle. anything. Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. GG. We got the line again. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure That's true. line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Yeah, the adventure Why line was kind of trash. Story. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? <laughs> Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. What was that? What was what? Is that a switch? 
A Nintendo Switch? Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, hold up, what's this? Oh. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer... Uh, stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. Bookstore. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Then Stanley came to a set of two open doors <laughs> oh, and to the door on his left. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to close on me. Wait, can I begin the game again? You seem to be able to. Will it? Will the new content door be there? I don't know. That's new content for me. Oh my goodness! Wait, is it actually? Yeah. Oh no! I think I've made a terrible mistake. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. All of his co-workers were. Stanley had made a terrible mistake. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Up oh, there it is. Content? What does that mean? New content. Huh? Sweet, it's the blue line. Now we're on a cool roller coaster now. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. 
computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. There's like a 50% part of me that thinks it's just going to be the office and then a restart. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Somewhere or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. <laughs> oh, let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Alright. Oh. Alright, let's see it's the jump circle. Save that one. Ah. <laughs> I can't jump anymore. Well, I hope you had fun. Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. <laughs> has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand <laughs> hours of new content. And if... Wait, there's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Chair. <laughs> That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content. I'm afraid. <laughs> you could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just yeah. reset the game? Let's just reset and the we'll danger room. To, to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Oh, gimmicks! Just you and me Not a gimmick a to be had. Like always. What do you say, friend? Can we get GG. a new end screen that just says thanks for enjoying the new content? We, we got <laughs> we got that years ago at the beginning. This is different. Uh, uh, uh. Stanley, come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. It's just like in Goldeneye. <laughs> now you're gonna drop down into that bathroom. Yeah. Okay, you 
remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe <laughs> content turned out to be got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap Nintendo Switch port? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, yeah. it all meant something. Yeah. Oh, the waste. It's true. triumph of games journalism james stephanie sterling writes and i quote where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art stanley parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created did you hear that stanley every game ever created that's how grand and all-encompassing the original stanley parable was it was literally every game ever created it was skyrim it was persona 3 it was all of them and now it's nothing it's no games at all it isn't even the stanley parable anymore it's just a husk now a lifeless husk with an hour of new <laughs> elevator content Um, it's it. It's weird to be given a choice suddenly. Yeah, can you even go down? I don't know. We'll see. Can you even go up? <laughs> they got me. Yeah, it's, it's the illusion of choice. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the Nintendo Switch. Boom. Done. And they couldn't even do that couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh, no. Oh, God, no, Stanley. It's a collection of reviews from Pressurized Gas, the extremely popular online storefront for computer oh. games. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. I got the Surely joke. reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? 
Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm uh -huh. trying to make a serious work of art. I, mean, I suppose get to I can read write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. See what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, and for someone who prefers non linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You wouldn't tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a <laughs> skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here. We'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. Got the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story and the choices oh, there we or what go. have you, and therefore by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably we all Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and then A little surprised it repeated that quickly. Choice in video me games. too. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. I get it. Maybe he wouldn't let me earlier, though. Look, you had you had to give him a minute. You got to give him the runway. What you think. Okay, so my theory is that... 
<laughs> well there, sport. You really like, I tried as soon as it came up, and it did not let you. The, of the, button. the minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, oh, there is button it's returned. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer <laughs> and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. <laughs> the it's clock's been changing. Hours. <laughs> You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. <laughs> I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than ever. Oh, Stanley. Look back. Look back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or well, two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months, I lost it all. You think he's dead? No. Oh. The clock fell down. The clock fell down. I don't like Battery the beeping. Battery and the clock died. I don't Smoke like the beeping. Light. Understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They, <laughs> the they screamed. Jokes? They gnashed their teeth and said, "Entertain us!" It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review. Smash and that thumbs down. Pitiful demands. But then. Drips. Trip, trip, trip. It really does have good atmosphere if it were a spooky game. But I hope it isn't. Saw that on the loading the screen. The end is never the end. Well, Sherry told me the only way to win is to turn it off. But Professor X isn't asking you to reset the danger room. What? Oh, it broke. What happened? the ladder. Don't know how. Uh. Huh. Draw things in time. Except the narrator. Maybe. Maybe not.
This is getting scary. And I don't like it. Uh oh. Button did it, oopsie. Let me go uh, hit the button again real quick. Pop up. Pop up. Five, four, three, five, two. Pop, 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 pop. <sighs> um... Where are you? No, it's truly an open world game. It is open, but only in like horizontal direction. So was that the end of that end? Mm. I guess it was. Huh. Room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Uh, new, new content. <laughs> oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. That's the only way to make you feel this way is to make you feel this way, huh? Yeah. It is just like Panzer Dragoon Saga. Is your name really Stanley? Roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one what? step hmm? even further. What's that? Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly port with Four, a few two, minor seven issues? Is very good. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel, an entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. The Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented, it screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Did he just die? <laughs> it sounded like it. To be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the so, features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting My stomach concepts, really hurts. <laughs> and it didn't when we started this game. And I... You're not sure if the game is doing it. I kind, I kind of... Yeah. Is that, is that a thing? Yeah. Hey, you want to shut it down? Um, not really, because I kind of want to know. But also, my stomach hurts. <laughs> Pretty bad. It, it, does it never end? I don't know. Again, we're in new stuff now. We haven't even done all the old stuff. Oh, God. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh, how do I do that? I'm 
must be up there. Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my... Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say Ever watch, your name, uh, whatever name that is. Silicon Valley? Let's have you role play as Jim. Space really Station Silicon Valley the for the N64? No. no. Oh, no. no. HBO. No. I only... I, okay, no. Here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget who the you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Sleeping and Is this of the Jim. office reference? Of course. As Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <coughs> Now, allow yourself to become Jim. Imagine yourself driving. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? This guy turns very quick from nice to mean. Well... You know... Everyone's a critic. It stinks. Everyone's the critic. Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. They would appreciate what I've created here. We got another jump circle? And infinite hole. Hmm. Don't know about that one. Too much Courtney love. very awkward. I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to both the exhibits for the bucket and the collectibles. You see, there's a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves both of them. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the collectibles and the bucket. Uh, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll get out of your hair now. Uh... Hey, a free achievement. Great. Oh. It's really gonna help out that gamer score. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, <laughs> like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy mm, 12th true. birthday, step niece, it that is. That is true. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with, no. Nope, I've made my decision, we're moving on. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm... It's a virtual boy? Oh, no. <laughs> 
as long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions. Like this is the bucket that I feel like I have to throw up in. Is this what's happening? Is this somehow? You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient. I've genuinely never seen anybody had such a physical reaction to a digital situation. I think um I think maybe I'm just sick. Come on, give it a try. Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma? Can you do well? anything with the bucket? I think that just holding just it do has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Sweet, they changed the name and it just says the button that says Jim. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. <laughs> I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable. <laughs> He looks just the right amount of sad. Yeah. I kind of like this music. God, it really is the worst. It's music. Everything in a video game, and then they give Maybe that's what it is. Fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. single coherent <laughs> video game but i can feel it in my soul it's going to work there's definitely a good game in there somewhere say let's do an experiment i'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience <laughs> okay are you ready here it is i give you the stanley parable 2 um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go, version two. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they wouldn't stand on their own. They would need the structure in the gameplay of the original. Wait. We need That's more jokes. It. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look.
<laughs> I'm very glad that that's real. Four minutes and 22 seconds is the speed run. Full credits is that room, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That would be. <laughs> yeah, no, it seems good. I feel like there's more. I feel like there's always going to be more. And I think it's okay that there's more. Yeah. My thing at present is, um... Your stomach is I feel physically ill. I do. <laughs> and that's why it's my number eight top game of all time, is that it can make you physically ill. Did it ever do that to you? No. Well, you're talking about Stanley Parable 1, though. Yeah, true. This this uh, this Stanley Parable 2 is just garbage. I wonder if Stanley Parable 2 has curves. Um, yeah, you can dash up slopes like in Mega Man X. Sweet. That's all. That's all, all you need. All you need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, man, I just really like it. I think that it does some cool stuff with, uh, it does some cool stuff with narrative structure, and it does some cool stuff with, uh, just impossible architecture. Wait, what do you mean? Like, it makes... Games don't do things that don't work because that doesn't make sense in a game. Like, if you take the floor plan of a room in a game, it has to make sense. Oh, I see what you mean. You don't have to do that here, so you sure. can, like, as you're chasing the story around, you can make eight right turns. Right, right. Or if you follow the line, but then don't follow the line, the line goes different places based on how you're looking at it. I don't know. I think it. I think it is equal parts silly and e and clever, and I don't know. I think I think there's value in that. Uh, the like directional thing you were just talking about reminds me of um... X Men. Uh... <laughs> no, there's a uh... TM Rage. What's the guy? I don't even know. His handle is Code Parade, and his thing is like uh, I don't he made that. a he made a game that was like um, instead of being in Euclidean space time, it's in like hyperbolic space time. Okay, which is like a thing in Dragon Ball. <laughs> that hyperbolic? Yeah. Oh. Uh, anyway, Sorry, hyperbaric. That's what. I, okay. No, it's hyperbolic. But it's like interesting in that like it, it's using a different dimension. So the way you're looking and moving is like, for example, you can go into a room, take a right, take a right, take a right, take a right. Four 90 degree angles adds up to like less than the whole. Okay. You know I mean? So it takes five 90 degree right turns type thing. That's interesting. Because the space time itself is warped. And I guess the guy like had to I don't know. He had to like make new math to Correct. make that work. Yeah. Had to like completely build an engine from the ground up to like make this whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, just interesting along those lines of like, although that I guess is based on like theoretical science as opposed to just how can we make something unusual. Yeah. Anyway, it is, it is interesting. It does, I feel like it. Is it a game? See, this is why I can't describe it. Right. I think that it is a game Did you because play it does it? Ha it does have you watching it wouldn't of be the same thing. It is so you're hitting on like the actual reason that I I find it so fascinating is I think that you can make a bad adaptation of a lot of games into like movies or stories or whatever else. Like there are sure. some that translate well, and there are a bunch that don't, 
But well, a game with a narrative story, you could just outright... Exactly. Right. Now, to whatever degree you could, sure, maybe I won't care about, you know, these characters from a 90-hour RPG if you put it into a 90-minute movie. Yeah. In that same way, but you could do it. It also, just, that whole concept starts to blur the line of, like, what is a movie, what is a TV show, what is a game? Sure. Which it is one of the things I think they're doing now on Netflix, where, like... Yeah, or they're they're certainly trying to. Sure, to, I haven't to really, whatever degree. But right, yeah. I haven't really looked at any of it, but the idea of, and to me, almost even more so than, you choose what happens next, like in a video game. Um, I know there's one where it's like you watch it in whatever order you want. That seems really interesting. To yeah, me. because then, and you go, is that a game? Not really, because you're making a choice, and each choice just results in 16 minutes of sitting there. But it's along the same lines, whereas each choice essentially results in some amount of time sitting there, and then another choice. It does. Is the ch- is the amount of time sitting there five seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, whatever? It depends on the choice you made. But it it it, it does end up coming back to being a chooser and adventure book. It, it definitely it's just is a very, so, very thick choose your own adventure it's, book. It's, it's a very thick choose your own adventure, but what makes this interesting is imagine you had a choose your own adventure book where you had to find all the pages. Cause not all of these paths are laid out for you. Like there is other stuff that you have to be able to do to really like fully complete it. But I feel like Yes, that's true. That's true. But you're always given a choice as to do I do the thing it says or not. Sure. Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and say that I think some of the stuff um, I don't I don't know that you would even think to do. Yeah. There's um there's one that I know that you can't do on the Switch because you you can't do it. But um there's a on the PC version. Spoilers for Stanley Parable PC. Um, you can open the console and like attempt to enter like hacks or whatever and there's a cheater's ending. Okay. I wouldn't have thought to do that. I had to find that out later. I don't even know what you mean by open the console. Like if you hit escape you can like at, you know, activate uh, God mode or okay. whatever else. You know, make it so Stanley can't die. Um, yeah, I felt like when I went into settings, there was gonna be stuff to mess around with that way as well. Yeah, and there's definitely not so much. I am curious if you hit begin the game, does it start a new thing or does it actually just put you back in the office? I just want to see. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a oh, company. The balloons in a are there. Oh my god. He was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push. So there's a really weird disconnect on this though where this is what employee having played it and then getting to see it now and realizing things could be different there is that level of like just that low level anxiety that comes with not knowing what what's going on anymore mm-hmm. so yeah because if you had played the whole thing and somehow you knew maybe at some point it tells you something that would forever change stanley Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. There's a really good chance that, that nothing is different except balloons and the number two. Arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. 
But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Now I'm feeling silly. Why? Is there a certain thing you're actually attempting to do? Yes. Well, that was worth a try. I feel like with this game, oh gosh. You almost began the game again. Like, yeah, if you had played it on PC and now you're playing a different version of it, I feel like just everything's out the window. Everything could be entirely different. There's yeah. no way to know. Exactly. They could just completely change it up. Which, I mean, they kind of did. I don't know how completely, though, and that's sort of what keeps you on edge. Right. Because so little or so much could have changed. So how do you know? Like, How do you know that you completed the game oh i i had to look up at a certain point uh, okay um do they acknowledge that in the game what that you've completed it no that you you have to look it up to know no no they definitely do not um so there's that's disappointing a little bit um no, when you get to the point where you've like followed all the paths that you can come up with, you like number out, all right, how many different endings did this come to? And then you can just like, all right, without spoiling them for me, how many endings are there? And it's like, oh, there's like three I can't, uh, three I haven't done. Okay. So then you start trying to do weirder and weirder stuff. Um, <sighs> Oh, apparently what I was trying to do is, in fact, there. I'll try it. And then we can wrap it up. Just jamming buttons on that corner? No. As usual, there's just, like, one thing you have to do exactly right. Oh, there's it does this every time. Man names. Well, I'm going to skip that. His co-workers were gone. What okay, could it mean? So that's... Stanley decided to go to the there meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? How do you hit now? Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly this whole I just love it. takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? 
Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. So, like, conceptually, does that give you anxiety? Mm, what you mean? So you know now that you could come do another thing that exists out there and if you don't do it there's this like free flowing loose end Does that bother you well now i just have to go back out there again yeah do you have that compulsion to do that though um, at this, at this stage, no. You know what I mean? At this stage, my compulsion is to turn the game off. Sure. Because I'm tired of it. And I decided to go to the meeting room. <laughs> Why? No, that's like, it, yeah, I get it. How'd you get up there? Uh, you just have to walk up it. There you go. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. See, but that's what I mean though. Like I never would have thought to go out that window. Nor would I have thought that I could since I tried knowingly to do it and couldn't. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative. So there was no way out of where we were, right? What do you think? Isn't this a reset the danger room? You did. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in okay I'm i also really up. love the concept you of you just you restarting it right before this shows up well i don't know how to say this politely but you could literally just restart the game any old time you want like right now you could have done it just then now would also be an appropriate time to quit any of these points already told me that anymore, this is the first thing they told me I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But I don't remember this. He was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in Sounds like parable. Stewie Griffin and uh, Tim Curry. Mm -hmm. Definitely terrible. Tim Curry vibes. And if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable. Actually, kind of find this relaxing. Sorry for watching, like a subscribe and blow up to a subscribe. Sorry for watching, like and subscribe to blow up more. <laughs>